What up everybody, make sure you give the video a like, make sure you give it a share and subscribe because I'm at 1200 subs, 600,000 channel views, I want to get to 10,000 subs and 1 million channel views this year at minimum. If we can do better than that, awesome. If you guys help me out, I promise you I'll bring you awesome content all year on the probe. Whether I blow it up, break it, run a number, it's going to be a lot of fun. And I don't have merch or anything, any way to make money, so the only way you can help me out is by helping me grow the channel. So stay tuned. Hope you enjoy. Check it out. Gonna be doing a little bit more data logging here. Looks like I'm going to have to pull a little bit of fuel out. You can see that run, it spiked 30.6 pounds. It was pretty much an 11.0 AFR all the way across the board. 15 degrees of timing. But you can see the boost kind of drops and then comes back up. It's a manual boost controller, so it's not as precise as, you know, other forms of boost control might be. But I'm going to pull some fuel out from about 4,800 RPM on up, and then uh, that should be good um, on fueling there, and then I'll show you the next run where I turned it up a little bit more and it should have settled probably closer to 30 pounds. Well, 88% duty, 31 pounds of boost with an 1120 AFR. I'm going to try and take that out to about 95% duty, so it's looking like we're going to see 34 pounds on full kill, but I might have just broke fifth gear. I flat shifted it at 31 pounds and it did not like it. It actually spiked 33 pounds on the flat shift into fifth gear, which is back here on this other part of the data log right here. So this was second gear. Ran it through 29, 30 pounds, flat shifted third, 30.1 pounds, kind of fell off to about 30, and then I flat shifted fifth and it spiked 33.5 PSI, or 33.7 PSI, 11.20 AFR, that was 87% duty, so got some fuel left. And uh, I don't know if I broke fifth gear yet. It held in gear, but then after I stopped the run and went to go back into fifth, it did pop out of gear once. Might have just been me, but I won't know till later, so stay tuned. When you're the tuner, the builder, the driver, and the owner, it kind of sucks because when you ask yourself, how much boost do you want to risk? The answer is always all of it. And I don't know how much boost it's going to take to turn my Mazda H series transaxle into glitter but I know how much I'm gonna run. Ooh, buddy, getting into the party boost. <laughs> 